Hey man, I'm out here in my garage, right? And I'm lollygagging around, throwing stuff away. And you see this? See that? Now, do you see that? And I'm pretty sure y'all wondering how am I in the garage with a car stereo with no car playing on the wall? I'm gonna show y'all how to do it. Let's do it. What up, YouTube? Hey, man. So I'm sitting around the house, probably like a lot of y'all sitting around the house, throwing away stuff, cleaning up stuff. You know what I'm saying? So I came across one of my old like Bluetooth units I had sitting around in the old box. You can see sitting around. I found came across some old Pioneer six and a half speakers I had sitting around in another box. Just old stuff sitting around. A few 12 volt adapters, you know what I'm saying? A little 12 volt. You know, sometimes it could be for a laptop, it could be for like a little radio, but a little 12 volt AC adapters. It could be a laptop, AC adapter, 12 volts. So I was like, you know what? I ain't doing nothing. I'm just going to make like a little sound system in my garage out of some spare parts I got laying around. So I figured, hey, why not bring y'all along? For the ride, since I ain't doing nothing else, we ain't in the gym, we can't post none of that, ain't no car shows going on, ain't posting none of that, so I'm bored throwing away stuff, so I figure, why not do a quick little tutorial on, you know what I'm saying, if you just want to put like a cheap little, you know, something in your garage, listen to some music, the cheap way, if you got a bunch of spare parts laying around, so we got a radio, we got some little six and a halves sitting around this one might be kind of blue out but we'll find out a few little adapters so first thing first man uh you have you got to make sure you got this this little connector with all the wires connected to it you know this goes to your power it connects to your speakers your ground you know all that kind of stuff uh make sure you got like a good 12 volt you know power source you know this is just an ac adapter as you can see it probably you know i don't know it might have went to a laptop or something one of my old laptops or something like that but it's a 12 volt 12 volt ac adapter so first things first you know normally like on most of these things it a this might tell you like i don't know if y'all can see that but it tells you like what the wires is on this so in most head unions they pretty much the same you know you got red and yellow <clears throat> that's power you know power and ignition you know to your key in your car you got a black which is ground and then you got like these other wires you got like white wire and a white and black wire that's a positive and a negative to a speaker you got a what's this gray you got a gray and a gray and black that's a another speaker you got a green and a green and black and so on and so on you know one positive one negative so since i just got these two speakers sitting here i'm just going to use uh two of them so we're going to start separating these wires so and if this was a cd player it'd be the same thing this just happened to be bluetooth and a usb but if it was a cd player you have the same kind of wires just hanging out so we're going to get to the power so we're going to get we're going to get this red and yellow we're gonna separate this from all that. We're gonna get this ground. We're gonna separate this from everything. Uh, we're gonna do, let me see what this says. Uh, left front, white, left front, negative, white, and black line. So that's gonna be the left front speaker. Let's look for the right front speaker. The right front speaker is gray and gray and black. That'd be this, that'd be these right here. So. The other ones are other two back speakers if used to hook up four speakers. And this is uh this blue, it's for antenna. So we're not using these. So we're gonna just we're gonna just bend those out the way for a minute. Let's just slide these, let's slide them on out the way for a minute. So we're using the front right, front left, power, and negative. We've got this 12 volt adapter. First thing we need to find out is does this radio even work? So I got this 12 volt adapter. I'm just going to try it out. And for some people who don't know, like you got a 12 volt adapter like this, this, the silver part that's on the outside, that's always negative. The part on the inside is always positive. Sometimes, I don't know. 
if it says it on here. Well, it said on here, it shows it, but it's very tiny. But sometimes you'll, let me see, this laptop, it might be more visible. Uh, I don't know if the camera's picking up on that, but you see how I got like the negative and the positive, and it has the, the negative is wrapped around the outside of it. The positive is actually pointing inside. All that really is, is this right here. The outside negative, inside positive. So let's check and make sure this radio even works. So we got these red and yellows. The power source will be to your ignition and to the power of the car. We got those twisted together. We got the ground wire right here. So if we want to test it on this, let me see, I got some tape sitting around here somewhere, y'all. I got some, at least I thought I had some tape sitting around here. Let's see. Yeah, here we go. I got some tape sitting around here, so let's see. Let's just make sure this radio actually works. So I'm gonna take this negative wire, which is the black wire. I'm just gonna wrap it around the outside of this 12 volt AC adapter. I'm just gonna throw some tape on here temporarily just to, that way it sticks to make sure it don't pop off. I'm gonna take this power lead right here. I'm gonna stick it in the inside of the AC adapter. This would normally like plug into your laptop or something like that. So right now we got this negative. We got this black wire wrapped around the negative. We got the red and yellow, which is the power to the CD player stuffed in the inside, which is actually the positive. So let me turn it this way. Let me see. I got a plug sitting over here. Just a regular, just a regular, you know, extension cord plug to make sure we plug this in that way y'all see just a regular ac adapter plug we're gonna plug this in to make sure this radio actually works before we you know even waste our time so we got that let me move this out the way we got this plug into that so let's make sure and see if this power is on like it should okay there we go see it got power to it so now let's hook up the speakers to it now that we know it works and it does you know power on and off you see the volume kicking on we kick it back off. Let me see, let me turn this back off. There we go. So I'm gonna unplug it. So we know it works. So now let's throw, let's see if these speakers work. We got like just the little normal adapters that go onto your speakers. You know what I'm saying? One positive, one negative. So this is what we do. This one keep popping off. Let's get this. All right. Is it on there? Yes, yeah, on there. So we already identified that the uh, you got white, you got an all white wire, and a white with a negative stripe coming down it. That's for the negative. So let's go white to white, which we the positive on the speaker, and the positive one for the radio. Oh, there we go. White to white twist these together and I'm just twisting them together right now just to test it out but you know it's best to you know solder them together or if you want to be lazy just twist them together then put some electrical tape over them uh, when I put it up in my garage I probably I'm probably gonna solder them and just put some tape on them or I might just twist them up and leave some tape on them that way if I want to move them around I ain't gotta unsolder them and all that kind of stuff right so we got Man, this keeps falling off. Now let's see. Keep falling off. All right, now we got this other speaker. That's going to go to the gray, the all gray, and the gray. Let's get the all gray, which will be the positive. We're going to hook it up to this positive on this lead. Twist these together. Now we're going to take the the grand black, which is the negative to the radio, to the white and black of this one, because these wires that came with these little six and a halves are marked too. One is all white, one is all black. It might be different. Uh, you can use any kind of speaker wire also, so don't think it just gotta be this. You just gotta make sure you pay attention to what uh, wire you connecting them to. So now we got some speakers hooked up. I got an old phone sitting here that I keep a lot of my music on. So now 
Uh, let's see. I hope YouTube don't block me, but let's see. We're going we're gonna to turn this down. So right now the music is playing on this phone. So we're going plug to uh, plug the radio back up. 12 volt, just regular 12 volt AC adapter. I still got this stuff plugged in there. So we're going to see. Okay, plugged in. Now let's power radio back up. Let's see. Let's Bluetooth it to this. As you can see, we got some sound coming out the speakers. Let's Bluetooth it to this radio. If we can. There we go. It's trying to make a phone call. All right, there we go. All right, now we Bluetooth it to this phone. Check the speakers. I hope YouTube don't, don't block me, but y'all can hear it coming out the speakers. Let's do it. I'm going to turn up a little bit. But you two won't block it. Y'all can see. Alright, so now y'all can see. The speakers actually work. The radio work. And the only thing we run it off of is a 12 volt AC adapter. This has 12 volts, 2 amps. 24 watts of power. That's it. So what I'm going to do is unplug it again. So now that we see everything works. Another thing you could do, now I'm going to untape all this from there and pull this out of there. Now if you wanted to, you could, you could splice this, cut it off, strip the wires back, and still take the ground wire from this. You can use some female to mail adapters like this to run to one of these to run into your power and run into your negative which i'm gonna do once i put it in my uh garage and uh hey man that's about it man that's that's an easy way to take just some stuff you got laying around the house and turn a a radio a car radio into a radio in the house now if you wanted to make a box for these and you know, have all this inside of a box and sitting pretty and you want to set it in your house somewhere, yeah, you can do that too. Or you could set it in the garage and build all this into a box if you wanted to, you know. Maybe I'll do that later on down the road or some video. But that's how you take a AC 12 volt adapter, check it, test the car radio, see if some speakers work, and make a garage radio with a car radio out of pretty much scraps that you probably got laying around. Hey man, that's it. Go find you an old radio, some speakers, 12 volt AC adapter, and go have some fun, man. Go do something. Peace.